The chain bar shares a lot of similarities with the classic bar lift, which I've previously made a video on. Chief among them being that the lift has the classic trait of keeping whatever it is carrying parallel with the ground. The chain bar lift also has the unique property of being able to travel almost a complete 360 degrees, which allows some neat strategies when used in combination with another lift. Welcome to Kepler Electronics, and this is our guide on chain bar lifts. To build a chain bar, we must first take a sprocket and bolt it to a piece of C-channel with some spacers in between. We have to build two of these. In this example, the shorter piece is representing the end of the bar, where the intake or instrument would be installed, and the longer piece is representing where it will be mounted on the robot. We also need a central bar with bearings on each end. For control with a motor, you'll want to power the lift from this piece. We can't power the lift from the C-channel that has a sprocket bolted to it because the motor and the axle are on the same plane, and from that perspective, the axle is stationary. If we move the motor to the central bar, however, we can freely turn the axle because it is a pivot point from this perspective. We then take an axle and lock a shaft collar towards the end. We push it through the C-channel and sprocket combo. I add a Teflon washer here to reduce friction, but you can go a number of different ways. After connecting the pieces together like so, we must add the chain, which acts almost like another bar, keeping the different ends parallel. The chain can be extremely tricky to snap together, especially because you must keep the ends parallel as you do so. Even so, after snapping, the ends were not perfectly parallel due to the spacing between the sprockets resulting in slack in the chain. You could fix this by using chain tensioners, but I wanted to keep this video simple and concise and just show the basics. This is by no means a definitive guide to chain bar lifts, but it gives a good starting place for experimenting with this unique lift type. There are many ways to change things, such as the affirmation mentioned chain tensioners or by using screw joints to reduce slop. I hope this video helped make the chain bar lift type less confusing and complicated and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some of my other videos, I also have a video on the common bar lift type linked here. I also make combat robots and you can check out my Antweight Stomp Bot here. Thank you so much for making it this far and have a nice day.